Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla supplier Panasonic breaks ground on 30 gigawatt hour EV battery plant in Kansas. Tesla shares rare look at Optimus team's work on humanoid robot actuators. Tesla Cybertruck prototype charge port features CyberFied lighted T logo. And Tesla rolls out FSD beta 10.69.3 internally, bringing with it a number of new features to testers. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla battery cell supplier Panasonic broke ground on a new lithium-ion battery manufacturing facility in DeSoto, Kansas, contributing approximately 30 gigawatt-hour of annual capacity in North America. The facility is set to focus on rapidly ramping up the manufacture of 2170 cylindrical cells to match surging domestic demand within the United States. Panasonic is planning to mass-produce the battery cells by March 2025, and upon completion of the facility, it will add 30 gigawatt-hour of capacity of battery supply to EV companies in the United States. The construction of an additional battery production plant in Kansas incites Panasonic's intention to dominate as an EV battery supplier for the numerous automotive companies in the United States. While the company already supplies batteries for Tesla through Gigafactory Nevada, the Kansas production facility is expected to funnel cells to Gigafactory Texas, where Tesla is currently utilizing 2170 and 4680 cells for the most recent builds of the Model Y. Panasonic landed on Kansas as the location for the plant back in July, but it potentially slotted out land plots in nearby Oklahoma. Kansas offered more advantages, including a hefty and diverse talent pool that is expected to fulfill 4,000 jobs at the factory. Panasonic is investing $4 billion into the plant, and Tadanobu said the facility will help strengthen production capacity in an increasing demand market. As the global shift to EVs accelerates, we are looking into ways to strengthen our battery production capacity in North America and meet the growing demand from our automotive partners, Tadanobu said last month. While Panasonic only explicitly mentioned the 2170 cells in its announcement, it is expected that the company will eventually transition to produce 4680 cells at the plant. Tesla and Panasonic have been working together to develop the 4680 cell, which Tesla unveiled at its Battery Day event in late 2020. Panasonic reportedly sent 4680 samples to Tesla in June. Large-scale prototype production of the 4680 cells is expected to launch in Japan in May 2023, Tadanobu said. Moving to the next update, Tesla shares rare look at Optimus team's work on humanoid robot actuators. Tesla has shared a pretty rare look at its Optimus team's work in a new video. The clip, which featured interviews with the Optimus team and footage of the humanoid robot's custom actuators, hinted at the serious work that the electric vehicle maker has been doing for its ambitious project. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has noted that one of the company's most important products is Optimus, since the humanoid robot would be replacing human workers in tasks that are repetitive, dangerous, and boring. Tesla surprised many during its AI Day 2022 presentation, as the company was able to come up with a couple of impressive prototypes over the past year. Job listings for the Optimus team have been quite abounding on Tesla's careers website. The recent video is no different, with Tesla inviting applicants on LinkedIn to join its actuators team. In its post, Tesla noted that the company's Optimus team is the future of robotics. Tesla's work on Optimus is definitely ramping, and this was hinted at by the members of the team that were featured in the recent video. As noted by some members, Tesla's strong vertical integration is actually one of the key advantages enjoyed by the Optimus team as it allows them to innovate quickly. While Tesla's humanoid robot is a significantly smaller product than the company's electric vehicles, it does present its own set of challenges. As noted by the company, Optimus would have 28 structural actuators that help its body achieve over 200 degrees of freedom. Its hands alone have 11 degrees of freedom, allowing the robot's hands to move similarly to a human. 
Elon Musk has ambitious plans for Tesla's humanoid robot, with the Tesla CEO noting during AI Day 2022 that it should be possible to have Optimus deliveries start within the next three to five years. Musk also intends to produce Tesla's humanoid robot on Moss, with Optimus being priced at just about or less than $20,000. Moving to the next update, Tesla Cybertruck Prototype Charge Port features Cyberfied Lighted T logo. The original Tesla Cybertruck prototype, unveiled back in late 2019, was so radical and filled to the brim with unique features that it was easy to miss some of the all-electric pickup's more subtle components. These include the Cybertruck Prototype Charge Port, which was showcased recently when the vehicle was featured at the Peterson Museum. When the Cybertruck prototype was unveiled, Tesla enthusiasts promptly noticed that the all-electric pickup's fairly large charge port was located beside one of the vehicle's rear fenders. Since then, however, photos of the Cybertruck prototype's open charge port have been extremely rare, and few images, if any, were shared online. Thankfully, that was not the case when the Cybertruck was showcased at the Peterson Museum. As could be seen from images shared of the Cybertruck prototype charge port, the component includes a pretty cool Easter egg in the form of a lighted, cyberfied Tesla logo. Such a logo, which features a more angular T than the company's trademark logo, does not seem to have been used by the EV maker in any of its other products. Tesla community members have also noted that the original Cybertruck prototype charge port seems large enough to be used with CCS plugs. This would make sense if Tesla wished to bring the Cybertruck to the international markets, as the company already equips its vehicles with different charge ports, depending on the region where they are being sold. Interestingly enough, later iterations of the Cybertruck prototype have featured charge ports in different locations. The newer prototypes of the all-electric pickup that are fitted with side mirrors and windshield wipers, for example, feature a charge port placed directly into one of the vehicle's fenders. The setup in the newer Cybertruck prototype seems practical, but it's difficult to argue against the elegance of the original prototype's charge port with its lighted Cyberfied T logo. The Tesla Cybertruck is nearing production at Gigafactory, Texas. Images from IDRA show that the vehicle's 9,000-ton gigapress has been shipped to the United States. Apparent test bodies of the Cybertruck have been sighted in the facility as well. Moving to the last update, Tesla rolls out FSD Beta 10.69.3 internally, bringing with it a number of new features to testers. Tesla started rolling out its latest full self-driving beta, version 10.69.3, to internal testers recently, several weeks later than originally planned. While the release was delayed, Tesla made up for it by updating FSD beta to the point .36 branch of software updates. Until now, FSD beta has been stuck on the point .20 branch, several iterations behind the fleet of non-testers, which is now up to point .40. That means, when FSD Beta 10.69.3 testers will finally get to enjoy features that have been available to everyone else for several months. Some of these new features will include the following. Revamped energy app, alternate routes, traffic along route, blind spot camera placement, supercharger additional details, view tire pressure PSI and mobile app, cloud profiles, remote door unlatch, cabin overheat protection, and more. When it comes to FSD beta itself, it is also getting a significant update, even though Tesla is sticking with the .69 feature numbering. The release notes, which were shared with Holmar's catalog, are extremely detailed as always, but give insights into some of the improvements in this update. One theme of the update appears to be that it can now react to situations quicker than before, with improved photon control and reduced runtime of candidate trajectory generation by approximately 80%. While this is a good sign that the latest version has finally been released to internal testers, it could still be a while until it gets a full public release, even if testing goes smoothly and no major bugs are found. Given that we are now in November, and Elon Musk said during the Q3 2022 earnings call that a wide release to all owners who have purchased FSD capability will happen in mid to late November, we are likely still a few weeks away from a public release.
that's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.